Hi, hi, campers. It is I, Ladaz. So, uh, yeah, I've just been sorting through some fry. Moved a couple of hundred out of the IBC into other ponds and uh, left the smaller ones in the heated IBC to uh, hopefully grow on a little bit more. But I wanted to talk about something today, something that not a lot of people seem to talk about. Oh, let me just turn this water off. I'm just chopping them up. And it's uh, ozone generators. Um, I don't know how many of you have heard of ozone generators, but my first encounter with an ozone generator was with a hot tub. And they're basically used on hot tubs to uh, negate the need for using bromine or chlorine to keep your water nice and clean and fresh. Um, basically is ozone is uh, an ozone, what an ozone generator does it takes oxygen which is two molecules of oxygen O2 and uh, stitches another molecule onto it to become O3 and uh, that third molecule is has got a very loose bond to the oxygen so it wants to break away and attach to something else. So ozone is an oxidising agent, basically a bit like potassium permanganate. So as you know, when you use potassium permanganate and you neutralise it with hydrogen peroxide, your water goes crystal clear, like glass. Only for a short while, because then all the DOCs come back, all the dissolved organic compounds and mucky your water up again and uh, I see Darby Coy was doing a, a video on how his water had got a lot of tannins in it and uh, ozone will actually deal with that it'll actually get rid of the tannins by oxidizing oxidizing the uh, organics um, and then allow your filter to, to pull them out so it's a very very useful uh, piece of kit but the other benefit to ozone is, unlike a UV, it doesn't have to come in, it, it, it works on air. And it basically uses, um, say, the air going to your bottom drain to create this ozone. And ozone is antibacterial, it's antifungal, it's anti-green water. It does everything a UV does, but more and more effectively. And you don't see a lot of people using ozone generators. Um, I'll put a picture of an ozone generator here. And all it does is goes in line uh, in your airline. And uh, you generally run them sort of two hours on, one hour off, or three hours on, one hour off. Give it that little bit of downtime to regenerate. Um, let the, the chamber sort of regenerate a little bit. And they work on a bulb very similar to a UV bulb. It needs changing every six months or so. Uh, if you've not got an aerated bottom drain, you can get something like this, uh, which is a standalone bottom drain um, aerator disc. Um, but they're really, really good. And there's lots of people having bacterial issues at the moment or thinking they're having bacterial issues, but ozone generators will literally knock out the bacteria in the water. Um, they'll keep on top of bacterial stuff. They'll keep on top of fin rot and fungal conditions and mouth rot and all manner of different things. And when you consider what you spend on treatments in a year, and we're all quite happy to chuck treatments in and chuck carcinogenics in and all the rest of it an ozone generator is about 125 quid so compare that to what you might spend on fmg in a year or what you might spend on potassium permanganate i mean it'll even deal with some of the some of the parasites uh, things like trichodina costia um it will help knock them on the head as well so it's it's quite an interesting um science and uh on the uh, Skegma Pond Supplies website, I've just added them. And it's certainly something I'm thinking of putting on my pond. Um, you have to run them basically on, a, on an Alexa or a, a timer plug so you can switch them on and off. Um, but they literally just 
plumb straight into your airline. So if you've got something like a spin drifter or any sort of aerated bottom drain, literally just cut into the airline, put it between your air pump and your bottom drain, and away you go. So there's no hard plumbing, no difficult stuff, just a plug on a timer, and away it goes. And um, apparently, apparently they will do a better job than a, a normal UV. As I say, I, I ran one on a hot tub for, for quite a long time and it kept that water absolutely perfectly and there was never any of that sort of bacterial smell that you get with a hot tub if uh, if you don't put bromine or chlorine in it. It worked really, really well. So, um, might be worth some of you guys looking at. So what I've done is I've put them on Skegness Pond Supplies website. I'll stick the link below. I've stuck the standalone aerator on Skegness Pond Supplies website. And uh, basically, if you buy the ozone generator, I give you 10% off, so it's even cheaper. Um, £12.50 off it, so what's that? 112 50 And if you buy the aerator at the same time, you can get 10% off one of those as well. So. Go and pop along to Skegness Pond Supplies. If it's something you think might interest you, there's your opportunity to get one at a decent price and uh, plumb it in and give it a go. So, uh, yeah, there'll be some links in the description. Um, maybe something to consider. Especially people like Dave in Koi Pond. You were saying about your green water and your, your little bacterial worries. Might be worth getting one just to try it. Catch you later, guys. Ciao. Oh, and something I did forget to add. If you do want to try the ozone generator, just add it to your cart. The 10% discount will automatically be applied. And if you add in um, the standalone aerator, that will automatically be discounted as well. So no need to even stick in a, a code and that will apply for one month from today the 20th of August until the 20th of September well midnight on the 19th of September so uh, you've got plenty of time to ponder it and consider whether it's something you want to try in your pond